All right, Jill, thank you for that. Next event on the track is the women's 400 meter hurdles. Corey Carter of Stanford set the collegiate and meet record. Back in 2013, Shamir Little, the defending champion, has the best time in the world this year. As we look at Kendra Harrison, fresh off her victory in the 100 meter hurdles, coming back to try to win the 400. And this is 45 minutes after she raced in the 100. It's not such an exhausting event, so to speak. You just have to kind of retool, get yourself stretched out, relax, and focus on this race. She's up against a woman who has got a better performance than she does. Shamir Little is ranked number five in the world, just a sophomore in college at this event. So at this is we're looking at just the bluest of blue chips between these two ladies tackling this event. Number nine ranked in the world right now on a time basis is Kendra Harrison. And then you can see how much this young lady has accomplished just a sophomore, the defending champion, Texas A&M sophomore Shamir Little has been working on perfecting little things to prepare for this event. Mainly my start is all about setting the race up. So I figured like when we work on that in practice, that is just going to transfer over to the meet. So every time we do a hurdle practice, I always make sure that I'm getting a couple of starts going over the first hurdle just to get that pattern developed and make sure it's good. Well, this is really an SEC showdown. Kendra Harrison has already won, run the 100 hurdles successfully. Shamir Little here trying to defend her title. She had a tough time in the semis. She ran 57. I spoke to her in the hall the other day. She said, man, I've really got to adjust for that wind on the backstretch and get my steps together, as well as Leah Nugent from Kentucky in this race as well in the center of the track, lane five. So two Kentucky Wildcats and a Texas A&M Aggie in this field, along with two USC Trojans. So this is going to be quite the race. And Little is going to have everything that she can handle to defend her title. 45 meters out of the blocks to the first hurdle, then 35 meters between each hurdle. And you finish with 40 meters to the finish line. They'll take 15 steps for the first six or seven, and then go to 16 or 17, to pipe, dis, whether their fatigue is, is good or, or it's terrible. It's easy to tell who's in the lead. Whoever goes over the hurdle first is leading. Right, what they're also coached is coming off this last hurdle, you want to have your lead leg in the back stretch, which is considered your strongest, off the last hurdle to help you drive to the tape. And Kendra Harrison has gone out like a woman possessed in lane four. She is way ahead of anyone else. Look at how much distance she has put on. Shamir Little now sees what's happening and starting to make the shift, transitioning to 16 steps and then eventually to 17. But as Kendra Harrison had just way too much momentum, now it's just a matter of being clean over these hurdles. That's eight. Shamir Little still making up some distance. She and minced her step there at, at hurdle seven, did Harrison. Look at this finish. Here comes Shamir Little. She needs a strong 10. This could be it. Shamir Little has the strength. And she successfully defends two in a row for the sophomore from AM. The time, 53.75 seconds, right on her. her she, no, let me make a correction here. That is the fastest time in the world this year. Kenny Harrison, 54.09 seconds is her official time. And that is a personal best for her this year by almost a full second. What a performance that is on the world stage. Khalees Spencer from Jamaica had the best time coming in worldwide this year. And her time was 54.15 seconds. Watch the move made here down the stretch. When you go out too fast, this is the price you pay a bit if you're Harrison. Look at the performance by Little as she strides beautifully to the tape. This meet is unbelievable. If, if the NCAA championships in track and field were a painting, this is a Rembrandt. So Shamir Little, just a sophomore, a and comes up with the number four time in collegiate history and defends her title 
and the fastest time in the world this year, 53.74. Kendra Harrison and Leah Nugent, both from Kentucky, getting second and third. Good points for them. Sage Watson of Florida State was fourth. A fantastic recovery from two days ago when her semi was very shaky, and she's downstairs with Jill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwight, I've got her. She's very tired. Fastest time in the world. How have you been able to just be a master at this race? It's just all about being tough. You know, the 400 hurdles is one of the hardest races, and, you know, if you're tough, you can get through it. You defend your title. You come back here, same spot, same place. How special is this to you? It's becoming more and more of a special place for me. First, I didn't like it, but now I'm starting to a lot. Go enjoy this. I will. Thank you.